I'm Tom Pash. I'm our product manager for Power Sports products here at Warren Industries. Uh, very excited. Last year we came out with two new winch lines, our VRX, which you see right here, as well as our Axon, which we got over there. Um, both big improvements to what we had before. Starting with VRX, uh, basically we took our old premium product, ProVantage, which everyone out there knew and loved, um, and took a lot of features from that and brought it down to our standard duty line. So you're getting all those premium features at that standard duty price. So all that ruggedness and durability that Warren's known for, like uh, IP68 waterproof ceiling, full metal uh, casing. We took some of our four-wheel drive hub lock know-how, put it in there for our clutch style so you can have the most rugged, dependable clutch system in there. New, improved, high-efficiency motor. We knew, you know, charging systems are getting more taxed on vehicles between lights and all the rest of the accessories, stereos. So we really focus on making that motor as efficient as possible so you can pull longer and pull harder without breaking anything on your vehicle and getting that most pulling power that you can. Um, we bumped up the capacity compared to our old standard duty product. So this product's now available 2,500 pounds, 3,500 pounds, 4,500 pounds, both wire rope and synthetic. Cool, so we just saw VRX. So that was really taking our old premium product, a lot of those features, bringing it down into that standard duty price segment. And it's a little bit more of the traditional winch, you know, what people are used to. Um, and we just made some improvements to improve that overall experience. Our Axon here, which is our new premium product, was a ground up redesign. And it was really starting with going out and talking to our customers, talking to our users and finding out, you know, what do they need? What were their pain points? And really the focus with this product when we were uh, designing it and validating it was solving the pain points of our customers, making it easier to choose which winch you want, making it easier to install, and finally making it easier to use when you're out there on the trail. So starting with making it easier to choose, we aligned the capacities. So now you have 3,500, 4,500, and we knew now that there's four seat, you know, side by sides, they're getting bigger and badder. Um, we have all new capacity, 5,500 pounds. So if you look at our lineup, you know, towards this end, kind of more ATV, sport side by side focus, and as you're working way up, you know, 45, 5,500 pounds for those bigger machines that are out there. The other thing is uh, you notice it's a little bit bigger and the reason for that is we actually took that contactor that was part of the install and that's what controls the winch power in, power out, and we actually put it inside the motor. The reason we did that is we actually went out to dealers and we interviewed those dealers, you know, and we watched them install the winches. We found they're spending about 70% of the install time on wiring. So how can we make that a faster and easier process? And so by integrating that, contact your end of the motor, we're actually reducing that install time by about 50%, which is a big thing for the dealer. They can turn that vehicle around faster. And then for the user, they're not paying as much for the dealer to install that product. So it's a win on both sides. And then to make the, the winch easier to use, you know, as we're developing this thing, we found we had a little bit of room to put a microprocessor inside the winch. So that unit is now monitoring all the parameters of the winch um, and then giving live feedback with the switch that we have here to the user as they're using the winch. So we're monitoring the voltage, the winch load, and the temperature, all things that can cause harm and ultimately damage a winch. We're actually providing that info back to the user. In extreme cases where they're overloading the winch or they're getting the winch motor too hot, we actually cut the winch power off notify the user and then try to get them to re-rig or let things cool down so they can get back to winching and make sure they can keep on winching by not damaging their winch. Um, another thing you'll notice on both this product um, as well as the VRX we just saw is it's available with wire rope as well as synthetic rope. Both are great options um, and all it's really going to come down to uh, what you're looking for out of that winch and how you intend to use it. Wire rope, super rugged, um, you can pull it, you know, over logs, that sort of thing, and it'll last a really long time, that sort of thing. But more and more, we're finding folks are gravitating towards a synthetic rope. It's a lot easier to use. It weighs a whole lot less. And uh, I can show you here. It's lighter. I don't have to worry about the burrs. We still recommend you wear gloves in either circumstance, but gloves are really important with wire rope because you might get those little barbs and no one likes having those. But the big thing is just how much easier it is to use. I could never do this with a wire rope, right? You get bound up, knotted up, kinked up, and that sort of thing. So if you go to warren.com or any of the uh, documents or catalogs that we have, we get way in depth explaining you know, the differences of 
to help everyone choose, you know, wire rope, synthetic rope, as well as to make sure you get the right winch for the model vehicle that you have.